Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Hi, my name is Anurag uh, Yadav and I'm from uh, India, Delhi and the last uh, I was working in the UK as head of uh, global portfolio management, which is, uh, you know, uh, responsibility of uh, three different functions, uh, global marketing, product management and product development. Uh, prior to uh, coming to Stanford, I actually applied to two other universities, uh, MIT and LBS. So you're doing your MBA, executive MBA? Yeah. So this is not an executive MBA, this is a fellowship uh, program and this is only three universities internationally which uh, offer this program. Uh, Stanford is one of them, the other one is MIT and uh, the third one is LBS, London Business School. And the Sloan... So when do you expect to graduate? I expect to graduate uh, in the coming uh, summer. Uh, June. Summer 2017? Yes. From the uh, fellowship program of management at yes. Stanford University? Yes. Okay. And uh, this program is uh, roughly 65, 70 years old, you know, in that bracket uh, internationally when Alfred Sloan actually uh, pushed to start this program. Uh, so, uh, as I mentioned about my prior career uh, already, now, what I intend to do after graduating from this program is to either get on a general management role for a large company, uh, you know, where I was actually previously working in, or I would prefer to go to a small company as a CEO, mm -hmm. and uh, because after the experience that I already had, and whatever few technical areas that I'm trying to cover while at Stanford, it's going to position me to take on those roles. Uh, so that is what I would expect in the coming summer. I see. So, um, uh, what made you pick Stanford over MIT and uh, London Business School? Uh, I think a couple of things. Uh, one is obviously Stanford has a very strong uh, background in entrepreneurship. And uh, I have a startup which I started with my wife three years ago in the digital marketing space. Uh, which will be doing fairly well. So one idea is how do I expand that business and therefore the lessons that I learned here in entrepreneurship are going to be very useful for me uh, while I you know, implement them back in my business. And uh, secondly, you know, the depth of uh, the courses being offered and uh, you know, So it's a one-year program? It is a one-year program. So what kind of courses uh, do you study? We pretty much study uh, most of the stuff that the MBA study, I mean, actually our core curriculum is uh, exactly the same. We are the same uh, you know, faculty. Uh, I, I guess the difference between our program and the MBA comes from the breadth of experience that we bring in because this program takes people with a minimum of 10 years of international work experience, generally in a leadership role. I see. And how many students are there in this There program? are just 90 of us uh, uh -huh. picked internationally. And we have, uh, if I remember, well, 34 different passports represented. Uh -huh. uh, so it's a pretty diverse international uh, you know, cohort. And people have a very wide range of experience. So I think that's where the real learning comes from. I see. And uh, is your company paying for this or you're paying for No, it, it is uh, something I'm doing on my own. But there are a few students who are company sponsored as well. I see. And some have taken sabbatical and intend to go back. And I would say so, quite a few of us are like me who are, you know, taking a year off trying to either accelerate or switch careers. Yeah. So is it okay for you to tell us the cost of this program? Uh, the cost of this program is roughly one seventy something. One hundred seventy thousand dollars. Yeah, okay. Yeah, for 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 a single student, uh, but this covers mostly everything, you know, not just the tuition, but everything else. So, is it mainly for the networking opportunity or for the curriculum that you came here? I would say both because you know you can't take uh, the two apart. Like I said, you know there are a few technical areas which I wanted to work on, and I think Stanford. Has so it's not something you could learn from a textbook or something. Uh, you could, but you know, you, the kind of learning that you get when you are with your classmates who have like, you know, people, you know, somebody actually worked on the LinkedIn Microsoft deal, which was just finalized. So people like that who, you know, who are real practitioners in their areas, mm -hmm. who have worked on such mega deals. Right? So it was mainly for networking. Uh, yeah. I mean, you learn from them and uh, obviously network with them as well. Right? I see. So uh, it's a very bold move to take one year off your career and also spend $170,000. Exactly. So it must have been really uh, prestigious and really worth it, right? Yeah, exactly. Like I said, it's only three universities which offer this program. Anybody else looking uh, for a one-year program generally ends up 
doing an executive program. Uh -huh. uh, obviously, it's not. So you're saying this is much more intense than an executive MBA? Yeah, it is very intense, very immersive, and very international. And it's also and for people with a lot of leadership experience. Yes. It must be very competitive to get in here. Yes. Any yes. idea of the acceptance rate? Like maybe just 5 10 percent? Yeah, roughly in that bracket, I would say. Yes. I see. And what about your GMAT score? Did you have to take GMAT? Yeah, yeah I had a GMAT at 720. I see. Yeah. So, um, do you have any particular advice for people who are applying to this uh, fellowship program at Stanford? Well, I would say, you know, uh, the most important thing uh, is to look at your leadership experience and if you had an impact and secondly where you want to go after the program uh -huh. i would say those are the two deciding factors and you know uh, to a large extent they do interna you know accept international uh, students so you're here on a student visa yeah i'm on a student visa so you know if you have uh, had uh, you know experience working internationally outside of your home country that definitely is going to help you all right thank you very much and wish you the very best of luck yeah, thank you